tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And it certainly had taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap, and the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Throwing now is Carr. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, they were advancing the ball. They had a couple first downs under their belt, but a big mistake there on the opening drive leads to six points the other direction. And what a good read that was on his part, Brandon, because it prevents a possible scoring drive with how they were moving things along. And it gives the defense the early advantage of what's going to be a definitely entertaining battle between these units. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. The car's throw complete here to Waller. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now it's Bolden. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They stay on the ground. Here's Bolden again. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. A 
third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now they'll throw with Carr. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. One well, of the great coaches said football's really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Touchdown! Devontae Adams. 37 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Jennings. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Seven yards there and a first down. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. It's the pro bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Purdy will set up to throw it here. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 21. Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On second down, McCaffrey. 
And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Now here's the option play going left. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Brock Purdy, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Niners have taken the lead. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week, but here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. Here, you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent, and that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. The last run got six, now second and four. On play action, it's Carr. On the move to his left. Looking deep for Adams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That one brought back a few nightmares because when a quarterback gets outside of the pocket, your job as a defensive back, make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. A nice job there having discipline and not letting them connect on that pass. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Purdy off the play fake. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard game. Purdy to throw it on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jennings. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Rocky a sin there to make the tackle. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Pretty slow complete here to Ayuk. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now Purdy. Over the middle complete. That's Jennings. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Now 
McCaffrey trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. They go play action here. Purdy dancing to it. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Gold is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Carr to throw. Steps away. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Carr. Quickly a slant to Renfro. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. From the 45 on second down, Carr flushed out right. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. On first down, it's Purdy. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. So no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. 
And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. There's Purdy on first and 10. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the... Hit as he throws. He lost the football. It's loose. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. It'll be a gain of 17, but even with that, they'll be well short here for fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a ways to go, though. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. The last run got nine, that leaves him with second and a yard. Now Carr on the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Here's Boulder. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there, holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Carr. 
And Carr gives himself up, but not before he picks up a first down. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Carr going to throw. Being chased out left. Looking left side. He's got it complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Carr now on first down. The open man here, Renfro. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They fake the handoff. Now Carr steps away to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Now Carr. Throwing right, and that's complete. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. To throw his car. And he'll throw this one away. I don't think he's out of the pocket, no. Here comes the flag. Now we saw it too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. Now Carr. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. Touchdown, Raiders! A pair of teammates at Fresno State connecting there. Derek Carr to Devontae Adams. And the Raiders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second and ten. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, 
why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? <laughs> Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Here we go with McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, 27 yards. And the 49ers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So how about the fortitude there? They're in field goal range, but they say, no, forget the three. We think we can get the first, and they wind up getting a lot more than they bargained for. And I love how you used an SAT word to describe what we just saw there, partner. That's got to be a deflated defense. You see the head down, the shoulders slumped. But we've talked about this before. Sometimes as a defense, you get so wrapped up in defending the first down line that that's your last line of defense. And once they get past that, they're gone. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Now a play fake. Carr rolling to his right. Let's this go for Renfro downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Vegas. 44 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now a draw play. This is Boulder. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 51 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They run with Bolden. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Brandon Bolden taking it in from a yard out. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. 
So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this all the way down to the two before he's wrestled out. A big play there from McCaffrey. 73 yards on the ground. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel punching it in from a yard away. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Gold with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. And now here come the Raiders. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Let's this go for Renfro downfield, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Looking deep for Adams. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for the head flag. It comes out there for pass interference. And what do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this crowd here tonight. What they're hoping now is to build a little momentum off of it and give them a more genuine reason to cheer down the road. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Touchdown! Derek Carr fighting his man, Hunter Renfro. And the Raiders are back within a score. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was Hunter Renfro who capped things off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it.
They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. That'll go for a gain of seven. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Out of the gun, Purdy. Open man is Ayu complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Purdy. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. So Carr and the Raiders now. Down 31-28. A minute 40 remaining. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And he will finally be shoved out of bounds down at the 30-yard line. It's a big play there for Vegas. 43 yards. Here's Carr. And Bolden brings it in, complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Very much in range for a tying field goal as they... He takes it across for the touchdown and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow! Wow! CD, that was an all-or-nothing drive to win this football game and they rose to the occasion to take the lead here in the waning moments. And how about how they got it done? No timeouts left. They take it downfield, execute perfectly, and get it done. Now they don't leave their opponent with a heck of a lot of time on the clock. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. 
And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Purdy. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Purdy, big fourth down play. He's going to let it fly. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Carr going to throw here. And it's incomplete. Still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.